Hi. Okay, I'm back again for another wee while. <laughs> well, hopefully a bit longer. Um, I'm as surprised as you that I'm actually sitting doing this for um, I've really just decided in the last day or two till till do another video. Um, just update you all on what I've been doing, what I'm working on, stuff like that. Um, so if you only seen my setup here, my I'm on my phone and I, it's telling me that I have 19 minutes left to video. So this will be done in two parts, I would say. But uh, not you'll not notice the two parts, hopefully. <laughs> but no, I just wanted to start doing the videos again. It has been a wee while. Um, I just was busy. Um, also just couldn't be motivated to do them, which doesn't help. But uh, no, uh, I've been doing quite a bit so I just I say I wanted to update you and hopefully start into a regular routine of doing them again. So really what have I been up to? Uh, I have been super busy with the shop which is brilliant. Uh, over Christmas everything was was really busy so couldn't have asked for, for more to over that period. It's slowed down a wee bit now but that's only to be expected. So with it being slowed down, I have had a bit more time to stitch and a bit more time to do stuff for myself. But also I'm doing a lot of work behind the scenes for the shop as well. Uh, just different avenues that I'm looking to go down. I sort of, I'm saying with the shop, in case you're new here, I have a shop on Etsy. It is Willy Willy Sheep Sheep and it is all like craft supplies, haberdashery, that sort of thing. Uh, oh, my name is Heller. I haven't said that either. I'm Heller. Uh, the shop at the minute is sort of a menagerie of quite a few wee bits and pieces. As I say, craft supplies, haberdashery, which means you could cover a multitude of everything in it. I don't really want to do that anymore, uh, but I am going to try this year to just concentrate on knitting, crochet and cross stitch. That's what I want to do. So at the minute I am applying for a wholesale account on Hoffman Distribution, distribution uh, to start getting patterns cross stitch charts, all that sort of stuff into the shop. Uh, um, also, it's going to be the bane of my life because everything that comes in, I'll want as well, but I'll deal with that when that happens. Um, but no, I've, I say I've been working on that um, and I'm working on it. Also with the shop, it, although it's the shop, it's not the shop. You'll understand in a wee minute. But uh, I have also started a crochet group slash class within my town here. So that's every Thursday night at the minute. Uh, we have a group of ladies that come that can crochet and knit. Uh, they work away, chat, cups of tea, coffee, biscuits, everything you'd want. Um, and also then the class started, not last week because it was St. Patrick's Day, but the week before. Um, we had 17 I think it was in that and I have another couple that's starting this week just with Covid they couldn't couldn't get so um, fair enough. So that is going on tomorrow night. Uh, so we'll have the second class of it. Uh, it. It's been really it's been really good and it's been successful so that's all I asked for. Um, also, as I say, just working on the shop really. Um, as I say, I'm trying to get it down to just being the crochet knitting and cross stitch. So I'm sort of trying to figure out what all I do need just to cover those things, which is still an awful lot of stuff. <laughs> but I'll get there. Um, try my best, I'll get there. So as I say, Maybe over Christmas or whatnot, I didn't actually have that much time to do anything. So it's really only been this past while that I've sort of picked up my needle again. Uh, 
I was crocheting a wee bit, but again, not even too much of it either. But, um, no, so I will show you what I've been up to. But I've also, I want to show you different wee things. Um, I have been reading, trying to anyway. I really want to get a chance to read at night when I go to bed, so I don't have that much because I usually pretty much I go to bed and knackered and I lights out that's it but I have these are a couple of like um fiber art books fiber books they're sort of uh this one is a stash of one's own by Clara Parks knitters on loving loving with and letting go of yarn so it's a it's about it's about um just your stash really, what people uh, think, you know, what stash means to them, how, if they do have a stash, how they've come by the stash, how they use the stash and how they get rid of the stash if they do have one. I find it really enjoyable because there is loads of different people's um, stories in it. So really, I got through that one, well, say I got through it, it means like I felt like I ploughed through it, but no, I really did enjoy it. What I read through it was by doing a story a night, each person's story a night. That was how I done that and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I thought that was really good. I would say most of them in it are knitters. I think Daughter of a Shepherd, is that who you call? Oh, goodness, I have or daughter of a sheep, sheep herder, can't mind, she's on Instagram and it, to be honest the majority of people are on Instagram and I ended up following them all after that. At the minute I'm reading, now this isn't fibre related or anything, I am reading The Bean Tree by Barbara Kingsolver. It's been sitting on my bed saying so we got duster. There's no dust in my house. Uh, so I've been reading that one. That one's very good as well. And I have got the next one. I got this one for Christmas. Um, I actually got quite a few books for Christmas. So I'm reading this one. There's another one in the series. I think there's maybe three in the series altogether. But this is very good. I like it. And then I got this one for Christmas as well. I haven't started it, but um, that this is next on my list. So it's The Golden Fleece by Esther Rudder. A Journey Through Bitten's Knitting Knitted History, reading backwards. So, as I say, that's that's next on my list to, to read. I just find these really interesting. I was actually off, um, if anybody listens to a podcast, Haptic and Hugh, uh, it was through, she has a bookshop, and it was through that that I found these these um that one and the Clara Parks one as well and she's got lots of different ones on it different fiber fiber art ones so if you've really any interest um I'll put a link I'll actually write it I have notes in front of me because if I didn't I would completely forget so um haptic and Hugh podcast she has a podcast and then she has the uh, a blog and all I'll actually probably put the her blog um email up because then it takes you to the shop and all and the podcast and everything's on it as well. It's very good. It's all to do with fiber, fiber arts, fiber. It's not a, I think she's a weaver, so it's sort of that. I'm sorry, I have everything around me here because I literally was right. I'm doing this now. Um, I have my work computer here. Really, you think by now I would be sort of half organized, but no. So that's what I've been doing. Um, just talking on podcasts and whatnot. Uh, I actually listen to quite a few podcasts, especially at work or if I'm maybe out in the garden or something like that. There, I would listen to quite a few. Um, the haptic and Hugh one is very good. I like it. I do have listen to quite a few other sewing ones, but actually haven't any of them wrote down. So and they're on 
the phone here so um, I'll actually maybe I'll share those with you the next time but if anybody knows me they know I'm into true crime that sort of thing so uh, quite a few I've got on to morbid um, true crime podcast is absolutely brilliant the detail they go into is unreal how those girls research it I really don't know there's other one killer queens again two sisters that do true crime brilliant they walk among us um, it's a fella he does mostly English but I think they actually have we they walk among us America now um, again brilliant the amount of detail they go into um, so as I say true crime true crime and so on if anybody's seen the TikTok where it's like what people think I'm listening to when I'm sewing, crocheting, reading, whatever, and what I'm actually listening to, that's me. So now on to crochet and not, uh, nothing, no, not nothing, sewing, cross stitching, that would maybe make more sense. Um, I actually haven't even been buying that much recently, uh, well, no, recently I have. Up until recently, I haven't been buying that much, um, other than a couple of wee bits of wool that has been really the majority of my buying. But um, I'll show you the crochet first. And that, right, I did do a hat. I don't have it here because I actually wore it near enough every day up till recently. But I am working on another one. It's out of the Murad magazine, if anybody has seen that. I think the second one's going to be out very shortly. It's maybe even... I don't, I don't think it's out yet, but... Um, let's just say, coming out shortly. Uh, it was. It's a lovely, lovely magazine. Um, calling it a magazine doesn't even really... The pages are like nice and heavy the print is gorgeous the photographs are gorgeous like you know it is it's beautiful so the hat that i was doing and i'm doing is the water it's that one there uh it is really easy really easy i actually when i first started it i thought this it's a different technique than what I've ever done. I'm trying to get this here. Because you're doing all the colours at the one time, you know, you're not sewing it together or anything at the end, which is what I usually sort of ended up doing. But um no, it, it it's very straightforward. And as I say, I'm making another one of them now. So I got a little bit of yarn of Giddy Ant over here in Northern Ireland. So I actually cannot remember what this is. Um, I know it's super non-super wash. I know that much. Now I started this on the first night of the crochet group because the class wasn't on, but I got, this is the three different colors. The purple was a 50 gram skein and the grey and the green were a 20 gram skein. Um, I have the two, the purple split up into two balls. You have like a main, your main ball and your second ball. But uh, that's the purple. It would be more of an aubergine colour. That's not really bringing it up. So it's not, but it's more of an aubergine colour. The green, that's actually not far off. green and the grey and as far as I know these are just colours that she always has on on the website and the grey so those will all be going together to make the hat so as I say that's as far as I've got and I actually there's mistakes in that so I think I'm going to have to rub it back because I was honestly just chatting and doing it and didn't work so I'll have that to do again 
but I don't mind it is it's it works up really quick this one so I'm more than happy to to fit her away at it some night just put this all away keeps me right that's that done um as I say I haven't really bought anything so I'm just going to show you these these couple of wee skeins I think they're I think they're 20 grams this is floor four ply and it's from Sheep from Mars. Sheep from Mars. Sheep on Mars. Um, she is beautiful. She's on Etsy. I'll drop a link. Um, I think I'm gonna do show notes. Um, so there will be a link to them underneath here, but then that'll take you to my or to my blog page, and that will give you a better layout. And I can add pictures and stuff like that there to it as well. But you know. That is, as I say, these are both four ply. That is actually greener than what's showing up on the camera there. It's like a, it's a grass green, really. That's the only way I can describe it. And then we have this speckled one. Again, the colors will be brighter. That pink is like near enough a neon pink. It's, that's lovely. Lovely. not packing it up but they're lovely love those so that is as I said is all the crocheting I have I did do a jumper but I haven't it here it's not funny well it is basically finished it has to just be sewn together but um I haven't it I didn't bring it out but I'll if I hopefully get it I'll show it to you in the next one so on to cross stitch then okay I'm back again um, although I said I wouldn't, you wouldn't notice the change, I have put a scarf on. Although it's an absolutely gorgeous day outside, but we're at the back of the house here, I'm in my kitchen, and it doesn't get the sun at all, so it is cold, no matter the warmest day in summer, and it is cold. Are you going to show yourself? Are you going to show yourself? This is another reason I haven't got very much done. Okay, right, Dorothy, meet everybody. Everybody meet Dorothy. Dorothy come to us just before Christmas and uh, she's a wee cocker spaniel. As you can see, she is a handful. Yes, thank you, up my glasses. Um, but she's adorable, aren't you? You are. So this has been keeping me busy as well. She's five months now, so uh, yeah. Yes, I see you, I see you. So does everybody else. Right, so on to the cross stitching then. Um, let me see what I will show you first. I have sort of been doing a bit of everything. Uh, I've took a little bit of time working on a lot of what I have. Um, come on, down, down, down. She doesn't know the word down at the minute, so that's helpful. But, uh, no, as I say, I've sort of been working on bits near enough about of everything than what I've done. So I have got a little bit further. This one is um, Blackbird Designs Halloween Eve. So if you're seeing that. So that is as far as I have got with it. I have sort of started the pumpkin and got that wee bit done. They're actually, you would think to yourself, oh, there's not that much stitching, but you see the amount. And I have come to figure out, I'm not the fastest stitcher in the West, I really am not. Um, so even though it's, it's full or even though it maybe doesn't look a lot it is, seems to be taking me quite a while to do it it's uh that's maybe that's maybe a good three nights work for me i say nights that's possibly about with madam here it's about an hour maybe a night so i suppose maybe i'm being a bit harsh on myself but and also with that one i'm working at in a hoop 
and I find that I'll be slower with it in a hoop. I think just, you know, you're constantly like that. I don't know, that's me. Um, maybe, maybe other people find it fine, but um, I have to admit, excuse me, I have to admit, um, I find working on a hoop, I think my stitches are neater, but I find working on hand is a bit faster. So it's sort of getting a happy medium there. So that was that one. Um, this one is Barbara Anna Santa's, is it? Santa, Santa's trips, or Santa's trip. I didn't actually, I only worked a couple of nights in it and I got that wee bit done. So that is the first page of, that's the first page of the um, pattern all done, or the chart all done. So happy with that as well. I just can't get over the amount of stitching that's actually on one of them wee bits, but you know, I think it's because you seem to be changing threads quite a bit on it, but it's lovely and I, I like I like working on it as well. That's why I sort of just was ticking I thought, I haven't done this as wee while, I'm not going to just scunder myself on one thing and then put myself off altogether. Um, so that's why I've sort of been working doing a couple of nights in one, a couple of nights in another and whatnot. The weird noises are not from me, honest. Um, then this one is Hands Across the Sea, Amy Can. This was my birthday start last year. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I absolutely love it. I do love the chart. It is the one over one that has put me off it. But it actually was this that I started again. And I just started with the one over one and I got a bit of it done and I think I've got by by that now. Um, I don't think it's as bad as what I was making myself think it was. But I have got that far with it. As long as you're seeing it all there. Yep. So I got a good wee bit done on it. Um, as I say, the butterfly, there's another, there's actually a butterfly around here, I think somewhere, and it's one over one as well. That was the, that's the one over one butterfly. Sorry, this isn't focusing, but it actually turned out really well in the end. So I don't know why I was getting myself all worked up and flustered. It's actually, that's on 36 count. Um, XG Designs landing that one. That's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So, oh, I've just noticed there's a bit of, I've only half done on that upper one. So I need to finish that. Just noticing that. So that is that one. And then the one that's already over a year old. Um, again, I love it. But the amount of stitching on it, as I say, I wouldn't be the quickest of stitchers. And I'm doing this one in hand. I think I have went between in hand and, and using a hoop. Um, but I actually just prefer in hand with this one. It's the Modern Folk Embroidery. It's the sale for 2021. I'm not even going near there. So that is up there. Hopefully you're seeing it all. So that's as far. So I'm on to April. I have spent the past few nights working on it and I have got this all done. I just find there was so much stitching in that. Not that it was bad. It wasn't, wasn't bad to do. It was just sitting down and actually doing it. That was it. But again, really enjoying that there. Absolutely, absolutely loving that there. And I'm so glad I've started back into it again. Um, I don't know why, I just sort of did lose my stitching mojo, whatever you want to call it. In the winter here, the light in the house isn't great, which doesn't help to start off with. Um, and just tired, just tired. And when my eyes are tired, 
there's no point for what I do is just gonna have to be tucked back out again um, so that's what I have been working on um, what else have I done Yes, no, that, that's what I've been working on. That's everything. And then sort of an update. There's nothing. I haven't started anything new. Although. Um, I have. I've started looking again. And anybody. Everybody's bound to have seen. The Nashville. Market. Uh, which was. Wasn't last weekend. The weekend before. I think it was. Or if that sort of week. Um. The amount of charts on it that I could buy. I have three, four that I definitely want. And I got one of them last night. I have been, I could only see them in America or the US. Um, I could only see them there. And I sort of wanted to get from somebody over here. So I ended up getting one last night off eBay, which is brand new. It's brilliant. Can't, can't wait to get it. Um, I have another chart come from 123 Stitch. It's not from Nashville. It's, it's an old one. It just happened to be something I was looking through and seen it and thought like that. So it's coming. So I can show you them when they come in the, in the next video. Um, but there was... I'm just looking at my notes here till I, I remember what uh, what they were, but um, I remember the names of them. There's two from Primrose Cottage, and one from Hands On Design. So Primrose Cottage, if I can figure it out again, I'll put a picture in here, or there'll be definitely a picture in um, the show notes. So there will. But is Christmas Barn, love it. I think it's beautiful. Also, Hive Rules. Now, I think everybody has seen that everywhere. Anna is absolutely love it too. And the other one, which is hands-on design, is Seasons 2. So, you can, it's like, um, obviously, it's all the seasons. You can do them as individual ones or you can do it as one big sampler. And, which I think I, I will do when I'm, I get it. But um, those are the three that I really, really, really liked and really wanted. So, oh sorry, and then the other one that I have coming. So as I say, I'll show you it whenever it comes. Um, also just looking through eBay, just looking through different, different people's websites and shops and stuff just to see. And funny, I kept seeing one of Blackbird Designs and I kept going, oh, I really like that. I must get that. I really like that. And I kept saying to myself, didn't get it. And thankfully I didn't. Because yesterday I took a decision and I said, right, I'll go through all my um, my whips and what uh, patterns I have. And I thought, I'll have a wee look through and see see what I have. Is there anything I could start, sort of, just to give me something new to work on? And right at the back of my folder was the thing that I had been saying, oh, I must get that. I actually had it. Now, I cannot say I'm one of these people that have tons and tons and tons of charts. No, you could count my charts on your two hands. So how I forgot I had this. But it is Blackbird's Blackbird Designs Away We Ride. So that one there. So me being me, I then went and seen what fabric I had because I have bought, as I say, a couple of charts um, and whatnot. I, um, I had to buy a bit of loss for one of the other ones that I had ran out of um, and I don't really want to be spending more money and especially the amount I need to spend on linen or Ada even for that matter um, so I went to my box to see what I had or if I had a piece big enough to do it so I ended up 
pick an outer piece and I went and I dyed it yesterday myself, which I'm all proud of. Now I need to go around the edges with um, the sewing machine, but it is 16 count Ada. Be that way there, I suppose. Yep, that is the right way. Now it was a really light, it was like um is it antique? I don't think it was cream, I think it was antique cream, but it was very, very light, off white, really. So I got it yesterday and I decided to have a wee go because that's the fabric and that is quite a dirty coloured fabric. What is it? It's um mink by R and R reproductions. So it is quite dark. Um, all the threads are coming out, so I really do need to get this stitched around. I was sort of revving up my desk to get it done today at some stage. But I dyed it. Now it is darker than what is showing up there. It's quite, it's quite blue out there. But I dyed it with orange skin. Oh, it is very blue out there. It's not really common, but I dyed it with, did I say orange skin, onion skin? Yep, um, which gave it more of an orangey, yellowy hue to it. So I didn't want it, I wanted it a bit darker than that. So then I rinsed it out, kept it dyed in it, kept it in it for quite a wee while, um, gave it a wee wash or a wee rinse out, and then I put it into a bath of coffee. Left it there for quite a while. Um, again, took it out, gave it a, just a wee light rinse as well. And then I got a slavatsa. It's like the really fine ground stuff. And I just shook it over it. So it's gave it quite like a dirty texture. You can't, it's not showing up on this, it's really annoying me. But you can sort of see where it's like, you'd think it had been lying somewhere. And then I just got instant coffee granules and sprinkled a few of them over, not that much. Let them sit on for a wee while and then give it another rinse. And um, I'm quite pleased. Uh, you can maybe see it a wee bit more there. Quite pleased with how it's, how it's come out. So I'm going to be using it for that away we ride. I just need to get the threads gathered together, but I think it's only 10 colors needed in that, so I'll get it and hopefully have it together for next month. So that is all I have been doing with, uh, with cross stitching. So it's, uh, I just can't wait to get the, these new charts. So I can't, so hopefully that'll be there or they'll be here in the next few days. And as I say, I'll show you all that on the next video with any luck. Um, but no, I think that's everything for now. I'll have rambled on long enough. Um, I'm just looking down my notes. I don't think I have anything else. No, I think that's everything. So if you've got this far, thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, give it a wee thumbs up, please, for it helps so much. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you would think of doing that as well, I would really, really appreciate it. But until next time, I'll see you then.